All right, guys, I, I think it's time that we talk about what exactly transpired on this channel on Sunday, three days ago, because I'm filming this on a Wednesday. And it has to do with that live stream that I did where I ate the Carolina Reaper, the world's hottest pepper. We're gonna talk about the aftermath of it, what it did to me, why I regret it. And uh, we're just gonna break that whole thing down, maybe give a little bit of commentary on the actual live eating of it, what I was going through at that exact moment, and then giving my overall opinion about the whole thing. But first, guys, it wouldn't be fair to talk about this before a little bit of, a, of an intro, a prologue into this whole saga, if you wanna call it that. I will because it's more dramatic, why not? So let's break this down. So this this whole story with the Carolina Reaper starts on April 12th, 2020, which when I went back, I was surprised it was that long ago. I thought it was around a year ago, but apparently it was two years ago almost. It was a little bit of a tough time for the Jackstown channel. We had gone, I think, I think a couple weeks without even getting a single subscriber. I'll never forget this number. We were stuck at 594. I don't know why specifically 594, but that was the number in which we were at a stalemate with. We were stuck at 594 for a long time. And I was thinking, look, what can I do for this channel to maybe have some better growth? What can I do to get more people enticed to subscribe, okay? So then I thought about it. I gotta do something that people wanna watch. And I don't know where I thought of this, but I always knew that the Carolina Reaper, or for a long time, was the hottest pepper. And I remember that for a while it was trending that people would eat this live on camera. So I thought, you know what? I like spicy food, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna make an announcement where if we get to a thousand subscribers, I will eat the Carolina Reaper, and I never quite forgot that. And surprisingly, well actually, I don't wanna say surprisingly, but the channel kept growing, and eventually we did finally get to a thousand subscribers almost two years later. Thanks again, guys, for that. So I had to honor my commitment. And the whole plan the whole time was to do a live stream because once you get to a thousand subs on YouTube, that's when you can start streaming. That's when YouTube will let you do a live stream. So I buy 12 Carolina Reaper peppers on Amazon, okay? And I knew it was gonna be painful. I've seen people's reactions to it. I knew it was gonna be the ter worst few minutes of my life. So then that leads us into the actual moment of eating it. So I thought I had prepared for this, okay? I had about two servings of chocolate milk in a mug. I had water, I knew that wouldn't help at all, but I had that, I had a towel. Um, I had I had, I had things, I told my roommates beforehand, look, if I need to go to the hospital, you know what to do if I need help. But that was in an, all in a joking manner before I knew that might eventually turn into a reality. But first, let's just go through the actual moment of eating it. Obviously, I was nervous. You can see the nerves on my face. I put the pepper in my mouth and I tried to hold, I tried to be mellow about it, be nonchalant about it, pretend like it wasn't affecting me. But about 10 seconds in, it was immediate pain. It was like a thousand fires going off in my mouth. It was terrible. There was no hiding it. And it kept getting worse and worse. Around the first minute or two, it just got worse and worse. And at, at that point, you can see me get up and run to the sink. And that was out of pure panic because that chocolate milk went down really fast. I thought it would be enough. It definitely wasn't. I don't know why I retreated to the sink because I knew water would do absolutely nothing. Then I ran to the kitchen out of pure panic and looked for the whole container of chocolate milk. Then I realized there wasn't much left after I finished drinking it. And then I ran back to the fridge to look for milk or some ice cream. There was no ice cream. I couldn't find any milk that I had purchased. Luckily, my roommate Ian had some almond milk in the fridge, and I'm sorry again, Ian, for uh, drinking that. <laughs> he actually commented in the chat, but I had no other choice, guys. My life was on the line. But thankfully, eventually, after a few minutes, that pain went away. So I thought, I knew there would be some kind of after effect digestionally. Maybe I would throw up. Maybe it would just hurt my stomach overall. And I was okay with that. I hadn't regretted it up until this point. So I ended the stream and that's when we get to the aftermath. That's when we get to the point where things got really bad and took a turn for the worse in a way that I never expected coming. I never thought it was gonna happen this way, but this is exactly what happened. I won't get into too many details, but well, it's not that gross, but I'm gonna talk about this right now. So what happened was, about an hour later, okay, I, st I hadn't had digestional issues yet, but I started to get this inflamed, aching, painful feeling in my stomach, but it wasn't in my intestines. It wasn't a digestional pain. It was almost like it was in my to the top of my abs. It was in my abdominals. It was the type of pain where maybe if you do a lot of sit-ups, you get a little pump going in the gym, but it was so bad. It was it became worse and worse. It was an inflammation. It was aching. It was I. It was so bad that for a few minutes I was pacing around my room here, right, right, right back here, and I was in so much pain and nothing could remove this pain. I started rubbing my stomach, didn't work. I tried to lie down, I tried to sit down, I tried to find all these different positions. I have a massage gun, I tried doing that, nothing worked. And it got worse and worse until it peaked about two hours after I ate the pepper. I wanna say this is around 5.30. 
I was in such pain and I've never passed a kidney stone. Okay. I've never been pregnant, obviously, and I never will be. So I can assume that it, it's that level of pain for people who've experienced that. It was such a terrible pain that I fell to the floor and I was rocking back and forth in pain. And I was groaning loudly, audibly in my own space. And you know that that's when you know it's bad when you're groaning and no one's around to hear the groan. You're just groaning to yourself. That's how bad the pain was. And I was this close to telling my roommates, I was, I was going to tell one of them guys, get in the car. We're going to the emergency room. That's how bad it was. It was the worst inflammation. It felt like my stomach was about to explode. It was a horrible, horrible, uncurable ache. And for those particular few minutes, I really, really thought it was the, I thought at that moment it was the worst decision I had ever made. So looking back on it, do I 100% regret eating the Carolina Reaper? Yes, I do. Not because of the initial spice on camera. That was the good content part. I didn't mind that. It was terrible, obviously, but it was just very temporary. But that pain, when I was rolling on the floor, I realized, look, I wanted to honor this commitment that I made. And I did. I'm happy about that. But was it worth it? Is it worth the pain just to celebrate having a thousand subscribers? We're supposed to be celebrating that. And instead, I'm in a serious amount of pain. So it's just one of those moments where I look back and you think it's it, many people when you're young, you do stupid things in life and you just think back to those certain moments like this. It'll be one of those moments that I think back to and I say to myself, what was I thinking? I was so stupid to think of that. It's just, I mean, guys, I'm. Long story short, I'm never eating a Carolina Reaper again. I have 11 uh, peppers here, guys. If uh, I'll sell them to you if you want 11 peppers. But seriously, guys, in all honesty, I care about all of you. And for those of you who think it won't be that bad or are considering eating the Carolina Reaper, I seriously, seriously advise you not to because of the after effect, not the initial pain that's very temporary. And even though I panicked and I was in pain, seriously, what happened after was no comparison. And that took it from a bad decision to a very regrettable decision. So I definitely regret it. But at the end of the day, the pain's over. It's been a few days, but that pain even lasted um, up until the next morning. And then um, obviously the digestional issues got there at, at nighttime. I had a very, a very painful number two, very painful dump. That was, that was manageable, but it was still pain. I'm not going to pretend like there, it wasn't uh, the feeling of hot lava coming out of my anus, but I'm not going to get into too much into those details. But that stomach pain where I was writhing on the floor in pain, that's where I really regretted eating the Carolina Reaper. So long story short, thanks for a thousand subs, but don't eat the Carolina Reaper. It's not a good option. I promise you guys, it's not good. And here's the, here's the funny last, just to put a cap on this story, the last thing to say that's funny, the next day I'm driving and um, I have a cup of coffee in the same mug that I had the chocolate milk where I chugged that in like two seconds. Um, I made the mistake of not washing that mug. I just kind of uh, rinsed it with water. And then I'm in the car and I'm drinking coffee and I realized, um, so I asked myself, why am I a uh, why are my lips burning really bad right now? And then I realized that the flakes of where my mouth were, the, the Carolina Reaper specks or flakes or whatever you want to call the crumbs, they were still on the mug. So if you drink out of a mug uh, to reduce the pain of the Carolina Reaper, which is not possible, by the way, make sure you wash it thoroughly right on the rim. So when you drink another liquid in that mug, you don't feel that pain again. And also have plenty of chapstick with you because my lips were very chapped after that. So, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't recommend you eat the pepper at all. But that's the story, guys. That's the aftermath. Don't eat the Carolina Reaper. Don't do it unless you just want to ruin the rest of your day. Just have terrible, terrible pain. Please don't. And if you do, make sure you live near an urgent care or a hospital or you have a couple roommates who are willing to get in the car the moment you command them to and take you to the emergency room. It's, it's so bad. And have a ton of milk or ice cream or chocolate milk. But honestly, nothing can prepare you and nothing should prepare you because you shouldn't do it. Okay, don't do it. Don't. I'm advising you, don't eat the Carolina Reaper, guys. But that's going to be it for today's video. I thought I should fill you in on those details that I felt like you guys deserve to know. But thank you again, guys, so much for watching. Thank you for the thousand subscribers. And th here's to more great times in the future. But yeah, I'm glad I honored the commitment. It came out to be a funny story at the end. It was a, it's a good story to tell. It's an experience, but not one that I am happy that I experienced, though. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.